When Elon Musk wants to learn anything, he simply does it. And this isn't because he's superhuman or has a magic elixir, it's simply because he's honed certain techniques for learning rapidly and thoroughly. So what's Musk's secret to learning which has led him to acquire the requisite knowledge for building multi-million companies in the fields of software, energy, transportation, and aerospace? Let's take a deeper look. There's an old adage that goes, a jack of all trades is a master of none. This basically means that he who tries his hand at multiple disciplines will wind up being an expert at nothing at all. However, Musk dispels this myth as he pursues in-depth learning across multiple areas to great success. In fact, when we look at other polymaths throughout history, including Leonardo da Vinci and Galileo, we see the same pattern, and the jack-of-all-trades maxim simply doesn't hold up. Of course, this is partly due to the expansive talent and skill of these individuals, but it's also down to something else known as cross-learning. Basically, when you enter into a new field and build knowledge in a new area, your new competency inevitably leaks into existing areas of knowledge and can expand and alter your perspective. This often means things in a whole new light and coming up with a whole host of ideas you would have never thought of otherwise. Indeed, innovation comes from viewing things from multiple perspectives. A physicist, for example, who has a good knowledge of biology too, will have a unique perspective on his craft and be able to view things in a more enlightened, broader way. Musk has a degree in both economics and physics, which are two vastly different areas. His knowledge of each respectively, however, informs his overall outlook on his business and means he can come up with ideas no one else can. Elon Musk's brother, Kimball Musk, claims that growing up, Elon would read at least two books a day. This totals 730 books a year. There is no doubt that extensive reading is a great tool for learning, but what is key about his reading habit is that he would focus on a diverse range of disciplines and so acquired the learning method called learning transfer. This simply means taking knowledge from one area and applying it to another. From reading all those books, Musk learned a great deal about various different subjects and is able to recall and transfer that information over into his professional life. Learning about new subjects in turn becomes easier because of the backlog of applicable information. This partly accounts for how Musk was able to take a rudimentary knowledge of artificial intelligence and engineering and combine them in order to create the technology we see in Tesla. So in order to improve your mind and ability to learn, take a leap out of Elon's book and try reading about as diverse a range of subjects as possible. In a Reddit Ask Me Anything from 2014, Musk spoke about seeing knowledge as a semantic tree. By this, he meant that learning fundamental principles should constitute the tree trunk, with other key topics forming the larger branches and finally adding the finer details for leaves. Starting with the small stuff, he says, means the leaves have nothing to hang off and your knowledge is unlikely to be retained. So when it comes to learning about new subjects, Musk recommends tackling the core first, before you get caught up in the more superficial details. Another way to think of this is like learning a ballroom dance. Naturally, you need to master the most basic steps before you can start learning any of the flourishes like spins and lifts. Approach your learning in the same way and get to grips with those fundamental steps. Once you're firm on your feet, then you can start adding the wow factor stuff. And the good news is that supplementary knowledge will come much easier and faster when you're secure on the core. Like with learning a language, if you get the basic grammar down, new vocabulary can be learned and applied to the rules you already know in no time at all. The semantic tree metaphor Musk uses also represents another significant method for learning, building connections. When it comes to learning, memory is obviously a vital factor. Well, according to Musk and a number of memory experts, Building connections between facts is the best way to get them secured in our minds. We're all vaguely aware, of course, that linking new knowledge to a piece of information we already know makes it much easier to remember. We're more likely, for example, to remember someone's name if it's the same exact name as our own mother's. And we also stand a better chance of remembering a word in a foreign language if it relates to a word in our own language. In this context, the knowledge we already possess, such as words in our own language, are known as hooks. Take the French word for ice cream, which is glass. It's pronounced almost identical to the English word glass and visually shares some similarities. So in order to remember the word glass in French, you can use the English glass as a hook. When it comes to learning about a whole new subject, the same principle can be applied. Going back to Musk's tree, the core or the trunk of your knowledge is going to act as the hook and help you recall new pieces of information far easier. New knowledge simply won't be as quick or straightforward to acquire without a strong base knowledge first. 
It's therefore even more essential that you spend adequate time securing fundamental knowledge into your brain before supplementing with the extremities of a discipline. So if you want to learn faster than others, heed Musk's advice. Don't pursue advanced material, even if that's what you're most interested in, until you've securely acquired the core principles of the subject. Taking this approach will lead to a quicker and smarter learning in the long run, which is, of course, the ultimate goal. In the same Reddit AMA, Musk admitted that his brain is often running at full capacity and he doesn't really ever give it a break. In his own words, he said, I do kind of feel like my head is full. Not ever taking a break is not ideal, but pushing oneself to the absolute limits mentally is certainly a piece of advice worth taking on board. At least it is if you have ambitions which come anywhere near Musk's. He stated, I think most people can learn a lot more than they think they can. They sell themselves short without trying. By this, he means that most people are capable of pushing themselves further than they think. So don't place overcautious limits on what you're able to do and see how much more you're able to learn. Finally, if you really want to learn deeply and thoroughly, follow Musk's lead and spend time with other highly intelligent people. We are highly influenced by those we surround ourselves with, for better or worse. The speech patterns, the attitude, and the interest of others will all eventually rub off on us too, if we spend a lot of time with them. While this is an unavoidable trait of humans, after all, it's how we built society. It can be used to our advantage as exactly who we hang out with is completely in our hands. And when we choose wisely, it can have some really positive effects on us and our ability to learn. When Musk first struck up an interest in the aerospace industry with SpaceX, he employed the rocket engineer Tom Mueller, who is generally considered the most intelligent propulsion expert in the game. Musk spent a lot of time with this guy and absorbed as much knowledge as possible from him. In many ways, this equipped Musk with the knowledge he needed to make SpaceX the huge success that it is today. Hanging around others that we can learn from is just as good as reading a book on a subject. And since the relationship will involve conversation and a lot of engagement, it can even prove to be a more effective means of learning. Simply by surrounding yourself with intelligent people who possess some of the same knowledge you're looking to acquire can be a big boost when it comes to learning. The other advantages of choosing your company based on intelligence is that it keeps you motivated. This is because you'll probably develop a certain sense of competition, which will keep you on your A-game but also because you'll be more inspired simply by watching the impressive skills and know-how of others. So, in order to really advance your learning capacity, spending time with highly intelligent, highly knowledgeable people will be a huge aid. While we might not be able to teach ourselves rocket science like Elon Musk, we can apply some of his methods to learning new skills and expertise ourselves. By reading a lot, exploring lots of different subject areas, building memory connections, pushing ourselves to the max, and hanging out with other motivated and intelligent people, we can perhaps mimic some of the learning success of Musk himself.